Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have five more niches that you guys can be working on right now. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this design right here. But more importantly, I'm going to teach you guys how you can create custom face well, this is a blanket, but you can do this for any product. So if you want to offer custom photo um, products to your Etsy shop, for example, this would be one where a person could buy a blanket, send you a photo of their dog, and you could go ahead and have their dog patterned on the blanket. Now, of course, you can do this for dogs, you can do this for cats, you can do this with kids' faces. It doesn't have to be faces. You could do this with just about anything that you want. I've seen these with kids' drawings where they can send you a picture of their kids' drawing and you can pattern it and put it on different products. And so I'm going to show you this blanket here, but there is a lot of options for you guys in terms of how you can sell personalized photo products um, on your Etsy shop. So we're going to go ahead and just show you this blanket here. So now to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and go to a, well, I guess I can use this anyways, but um, I'm going to go to Canva home here and we're going to start off with custom size. Now, because we are going to be doing sort of a seamless pattern style, we need to start with a square and we want that square to be as large, you know, pretty much as large as we can so that we get good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and do 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. And so now I got a nice 4,000 by 4,000 pixel square. And I'm going to do this in two different um, stages. So stage number one, if you want to have a background, which is optional, you could just have a solid background and put a face on it and pattern it, and that would be super easy. But let's say we wanted to add a background to that pattern, we're going to do these separately. So the first step would be to find a pattern. So for this particular design, because we were doing a dog blanket, I wanted a dog pattern. And so I went up to elements. I'm going to go with seamless pattern. Um, and I can do anything I want. I put like dog print, seamless pattern, dog print and see what comes up. And of course you can search this by photos or graphics. Doesn't matter as long as it's seamless. So the one I used was this photo here actually, but you can do it through graphics too. There's all sorts of seamless patterns of different dog prints that you could use potentially as a background. All you need to do is make sure that it is in fact, seamless. Um, and so to do that, to make sure that it's seamless, I always bring it in so it fills a quarter of the page. I hit control D so I duplicate it and I put it side by side and make sure that it does in fact line up and is perfectly seamless. Okay. And so that looks pretty good. That's pretty seamless. And so assuming that that's how you like it, you can either keep it like this. This is a little bit of a tighter grouping and you can do it that way or what we can do would be to go ahead and blow it up and have it take up the whole space. And this would be more of a wider grouping. So just depending on what size you want it to be, but that would be, you know, sort of a background layer. Now the next layer you would want to do would be the dog. So let's say somebody sent you a picture of their dog. Um, and so I'm just going to go to elements and I'm going to put dog and let's just search photos. Now, obviously this is cool. It's got photos of dogs where the background's already removed, but normally you wouldn't get that from a person. They would send you a photo that has a background and we would just have to do a nice background remover. And so it doesn't matter. Somebody sends you a picture of their dog. You may have to ask for several pictures just so that we make sure that we get one that is good, but someone sends you a picture of their dog like this. We say, okay, let's go ahead and do a background remover so that we end up with just the dog. And now we can do the dog like that, but I think it might look better if the bottom was cropped out. Maybe we make it round. Maybe we try to crop off so we just have the face. I mean, we could try to crop this off and just do the face. So what we could do if we wanted to do that would be to go ahead and go to edit. We can use our magic eraser here. We can try to zoom way in and let's say I wanted to crop and just get sort of more of just the face area. I mean, I could try to 
sort of do this whole, you know, I'm just gonna crop the head sort of thing. This isn't a great example, but for example, I could do that and we'll just cut off everything that is not the head of the dog. Make it easy so that we can just crop right there. And go ahead, hit erase. Something, yeah, something like that. Like I said, that's not the best example. It's a fluffy dog, but then I could just go ahead, crop off the rest of the picture. And now I went from them sending me this picture here to now I just have the dog's head. So theoretically, let's say I did that. And I would put the dog's head right smack in the middle of the square. And that's what I would be sort of patterning. And the dog's head on the blanket would look like this, where you've got the dog's head over the blanket. And I mean, that's essentially how you would do it. Now you wouldn't want to do these together like this because the pattern that you're going to use is going to be different for the head and different for the background. So because we have a seamless pattern here, when you pattern it, it has to be a straight normal grid. So it has to be, you know, right next to the other. It can't be offset. But with the face, we can do an offset grid where it's not just looking like it's a bunch of squares, but we have them kind of offset and that's gonna look better. So we're gonna do this in two layers. So we can do the offset grid on the face and the regular grid on the background pattern. And again, the background pattern is optional. You could just do it on a solid background if you wanted to and just be like, here's the dog head on a solid, you know, gray blanket or something or a solid black blanket or whatever. I mean, if I did this on a black blanket, the head just sort of kind of blends in a little bit. If I did it on a white blanket, you saw how it looked. If I did it on a gray blanket, I like the pattern. I think it, you know, looks a little bit better, but again, you can do it any way you want. Now this is showing it with, again, I cut out the head, but if they sent you a picture of the dog and it had like their whole body, like here's a really cute one. Let's say I take this dude, he's got his whole body there and I did the background remover. I can end up with the doggy with the whole body. And actually that is a great example because here's my little fluffy doggy. I can put kind of right in the middle of the page. I wanna make him pretty big, kind of try to center the doggy best I can. So doggy looks pretty centered there. So there's my little fluff ball doggy. So if they send you a good picture, that's great. Um, so it really depends on the pictures that people send. But if they get the whole body in there, that's going to be really easy. So again, here's one where it's got the whole background. If I do the background remover, I can end up with just the doggy. That's going to be a little bit easier than trying to crop the whole, just the head. But if they sent you a picture where it's like that and it's just the head, you're going to have to kind of try to crop the head. Or, here's the or, or you could do it like this. We could take the, the thing, we could do the background remover. Give it a sec. So let's say I had this picture here. I could either again try to cut out the head or I could try to use it in like a frame. And so they've Canva's constantly changing the layout and things. And so sometimes it's harder to find things if you knew where they used to be and now they're not there anymore. But if you just go to your elements and now you scroll all the way down to the bottom, what we're gonna find is the frames here in this section and you can get see all and you can go ahead and search through their frame area. Now for this, I just want basic shapes and what we could do would just be something like a basic circle frame or, or something like that. I mean, you could do any kind of weird shape that you wanted. Yeah, some of these are different, but eh, heart. But let's say we just wanted your basic circle. So your basic circle, we could find down here under trending, trending, basic circle. Here we go. So here's our basic circle frame, um, which should go on right there. Okay, let's go ahead and send it behind the dog. And now we could try to put the dog in the frame. And so what you can see is it kind of crops out the bottom. And now we could even try to do it that way and blow it up. And now we can see how we've gotten a perfectly smooth edge there. So we've got the dog in the circle frame. And so we could do that if we had a head too. Oops. And so that's one way that you can do it. It would just be to try to get that sort of circled curved look. And so there's ways around it. So whether you have the full body or you have just the head, there's ways that you can do it. So let's go ahead and use this as an example. So we're gonna use the little full body dog. And so what we are gonna do is, 
Pomeranian dog. I'm just going to put Pom dog. And we're going to go ahead and download this. It's going to be a transparent background. It's a PNG. We only want this page too. And we're going to download it. And so this is going to be one of our layers. After that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and come up to this one. And this is going to be dog print. And we'll go ahead and download this. And then this one, we can, let me see, is this, we can download this as is. This doesn't need a transparent background or anything. So we're just going to want to make sure we get just this page. We're going to hit done and we're going to download. And so now we've downloaded both our seamless pattern and our dog as just its own individual image. Once we have that, we can go ahead and we can jump over to Printify. And so now here, we just went ahead and searched for blankets. So this is going to be more under home and living. And we can scroll down until we get to blankets. And again, there's lots of different blankets that you can choose from. Um, we have this bestseller one here, which is this nice all over print blanket, right? It's only $12.91 plus shipping. And there's three different sizes. And of course, we can do this on all three sizes. That's the cool thing about doing a patterned design is you can do it on all of the sizes. So we can hit start designing. And we can select the variants here. So we can go ahead and select every variant. Okay, and go back. And now what we're going to do is start with our background, which is going to be our, our kind of patterned. So you go over to your uploads, we'll go to my device, and we're going to start with the sort of dog pattern or dog print. Now what you're going to see is that it's going to put it all the way across, and then it's going to tell you that the resolution is pretty bad. It's at 64 DPI, and obviously we want it to be better than that. But what we're going to do is actually pattern it. And now to create a pattern, I can come up here where it says pattern, or I can scroll down here and put create pattern. Either way, it's going to give you choices of the different patterns. And so right now it's on regular grid. And that's what you need for a seamless background because it means I can shrink it way down like that and it's going to actually look right. If I did it as sort of any of these offset grids, it's not going to look right. So we're going to lose the seamless pattern. That's why we have to keep this a seamless pattern on a regular grid. And then all we do is, you know, blow it up or shrink it down to whatever we want. And so we can go ahead and pick, you know, the resolution we want. So if you wanted it to be 300 DPI, you just shrink it down more until it's at your 300. And so the smaller I shrink it down, oops, the higher the DPI is going to go, right? So I'll just keep shrinking, 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 shrinking. There we go, 308 DPI. So this is going to print in really good quality here. So that is it. That's easy. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put another layer on here. So to do that, we're going to go to our uploads. We're going to go to my device. And now we're going to upload the picture of the dog. So I'm going to go with Palm Dog. That's what I saved it as. Okay, there we go. And again, it's going to put the dog smack in the middle. You're going to notice that the dog's going to be pretty low quality. We're going to shrink that dog way down until, you know, it's at a, you know, good quality. So I can shrink it pretty small. Oops. A little hard to grab hold of the doggy there. Oops, maybe a little bigger. There we go. So that's pretty good. And that's... 301 dpi and then what we're going to do is we're going to pattern the doggy so i can again hit create pattern or i can go over there now this is the doggy with the regular grid and i don't think that that looks super good it's just kind of it's got that square doggy look so i would rather do one of the offset grids and it doesn't really matter what you do but it's going to give you that offset look so that's offset that way that's offset that way really doesn't matter i like it this way a little bit better but it's offset. And so that is why we had to do this in two different um, sections. So our kind of background grid is the regular grid and our doggy grid is the offset grid. And we have two layers. So we've got the doggies now sitting on top of, you know, the backgrounds. And you can, you know, do it however you want. You can make it smaller too. You got to realize this is a whole blanket. So it's going to be pretty big. And so what we can do is go to a preview. 
and you can see how the blanket is going to look. And then you can pick the three sizes. So on the itty bitty little size, it'll show it compared to a bed, right? So let's do the context view. So here it would be on a regular little twin size bed. So that's just a small little blanket there. But if we did the big full 60 by 80 inch blanket, and we do the context view, we can see it covers the entire bed. And so now we've got a big blanket and we can see that, that those doggies are pretty big print still. So even though there was a whole bunch of doggies on a big blanket, they're still pretty big. And so I could have shrunk them down even more if I wanted to, but that's how you can kind of create you know, a custom dog thing. So they send you the picture, you do the background remover, you, if it's a full body, it's perfect. If you have to crop the head, you can do it, you know, different ways. And then you just sort of pattern it. And again, I have the cool pattern on the background. I didn't have to do that. I could have just patterned the dog on a solid color, but again, I didn't necessarily like that. Um, but pretty easy to do. And then you would just save your product and go through the steps of then uploading it to your Etsy shop or whatever you know platform you use to sell on. Um, if you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're continuing to grow your skills, continuing to learn new techniques and expand your portfolio. Um, I wanna give you as many different options and as many different things that you guys can try um, to kind of see what works for you and your shop. But if you're doing Etsy, obviously personalized things are great. And so you can do the photo things, you can do just the name or text things. And so there's all sorts of different ways you can personalize stuff. So, you know, think outside the box. Um, and because you guys were so patient again and waited until the end of the video, I do have a list of five bonus niches for you. All right, so without any more waiting, these are going to be your five bonus niches. And because we did a dog blanket, I'm going to make these dog themed niches. So number one, life goal, pet all the dogs. Number two, you know what I like about people? They're dogs. Number three, if I can't bring my dog, I'm not going. Number four, I trip over my wiener. And by the way, there are tons of wiener dog joke um, shirts and other products out there. So anybody who's got a wiener dog, there's just a zillion funny ones for that. And then number five, I work so my dog can have a better life. And of course that can be scalable too. You can work so blank can have a better life and it could be your dog, your cat, anything you name it so always think outside the box you can always expand upon most of the niches so if you find a niche that is doing well think about how you can expand upon it anyways um again hope you guys are doing well and i do hope to see you guys again that's it for today's video if you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time